Good morning everyone, it is Tuesday and I thought I'd film a day in the life today. It's 7 o'clock, this one has just had a bottle, so we're having a little snuggle. Ellie's still asleep and she actually slept in our bed last night. Um, so yeah, I think it's snowing outside quite bad. So we're probably going to have a day in quite chilled. Um, do a bit crafts maybe um, and show you what it's like in a day in the life with two I know I've done one before but he was um, very very young like I think he was a couple of weeks old weren't you my throat's killing me say hi say hi so yeah he's had a bottle and I'm going to change his lappy um, and just have a few more cuddles before Ellie wakes up. Should we change your nappy? Not, not yet, I want to see. Okay. Should we change your nappy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Come on in. You are the one that I will call when I'm drunk You are the one that I just need to feel loved You saved me from the broken house that I built You took me in with open arms and I still I just forgot to say that Ellie's off school today so no preschool um, So I've got them both today Hey, morning. Hey, morning. Oh, it's super sunny today. Even though it's frozen. Oh, there she is. On the floor. Your belly ache. Uh, you joking? Yeah. Mm. Mm. I'm going to do Ellie's breakfast now. And I desperately need a cup of tea. My throat is killing me today. I've noticed um, every morning when I'm waking up, my like glands are hurting in my throat. So I don't know if I'm getting like run down again. Pardon you. Pardon you. Great. He's getting sick. <laughs> This is a proper day in the life with a baby and a toddler. He's whinging because he is so, so clingy lately. Let me turn this news out. Where's Grandad put the remote? Oh my god, everything's gone wrong this morning. Yeah. Harry's been super clingy lately. Um, and I can see him looking at me like, Mum, don't put me down. But Ellie usually holds him in the morning, don't you? Yeah. She's not 100% well. She's got really sore lips, haven't you? She gets really... Ooh, don't touch it. Sorry. She gets really sore chap lips in the winter. Um, and no matter what I put on them, they just don't seem to be working. So, oh, he's got your hair. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know how today's going to go. Usually, obviously, Ellie's fine. She has been a little bit hard work, which I will talk about soon. Take your hair out. Um, I'll do it in a second, yeah? Um, but, yeah. It, I have my days where it's quite difficult and I think today is going to be one of them. Um, and obviously I'm not feeling 100% in myself either. So let's see how today goes. Yay! Yeah. Just going to have a chill day in because not everyone's not very well. And um, I wanted to do a day in the life, like a real day in the life to show you like ups and downs. My last one... Everything was really nice, like, 
you know Ellie was helping with Harry which she still does and everything was a breeze but yeah now he's three months old it is a little bit harder um he's literally looking at me while I talk want you back back want you back 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 some say that love don't hurt but I got you stuck in my memory some say that hearts come first but they've never known what it's like to be in love at 20 years old we kiss in the rain till we catch a cold some say that love don't hurt but I want you back back cause I've got you stuck in my memory to do can't you save my soul can't you save my soul can't you mend my heart can't you mend my heart I want you back back want you back 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 yeah I want you back back want you back 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 some say that love don't hurt but I got you stuck in my memory some say that hearts come first, but they've never known what it's like to be in love at 20 years old. We kiss in the rain till we catch a cold. Some say that love don't hurt, but I want you back, back, cause I've got you stuck in my memory. Have my cup of tea. We're a little bit more chilled now. Um, what is the time actually? 8:55. Um, I'm gonna set up the table with craft stuff before we get ready. I'm gonna set the table, get everything out, and then probably get dressed because we will be sitting up in our pajamas literally all day. Um, so yeah, I promised her I'll do some crafts of her today because she got some new stuff. Um, so yeah, Ellie's just going to play while I do that. She'll probably help me to be honest. She loves helping around the house, which is really cute. Um, but yeah, I've got stuff like PVA glue and all that jazz. So yeah, we sit at the table. Okay, so this is our little craft station. We've got these special pens, which I spoke about before. You can write on glass, metal, tiles, pretty much anything. They're really good. Um, in these little Tupperware boxes are just like, you know, like the loose things like embellishments and stuff. So we've got some random ones in there. Messy. Um, we've got some more in there. It's like a bunch of ones. And then these are pom-poms. We've got some PVA glue, some feathers. In here is a bunch of things, like all different things. Uh, if you can see in there, it's just got loads of random things. Play doh, some little stamps, and some paper. Okay, change of plan. I did want to get dressed before we do crafts, but Harry's gonna sleep, and that means me and Ellie can have a little bit of time together. So, yeah, we're gonna do the crafts now before he wakes up. Well, you excited? I don't do one. Oh, that's okay. Okay, our next door neighbour, um, she's kind of like an old lady. She always gets Ellie all this craft stuff. So all of this stuff I've just showed you, except from the Play-Doh, is from her. She is the loveliest neighbour ever. Um, I know she's not watching my videos because she probably hasn't got YouTube. Um, so yeah, she got Ellie all of these craft stuff and every time we see her she gives her more like sticker books and colouring books so she's just the sweetest little lady so we're gonna do her a little thank you card aren't we Ellie? Yeah. Um, I don't actually know her name but um, we're just gonna do a thank you card and decorate it and give it to her later aren't we? Yeah? That'd be really nice. Yeah. 
doing a craft I thought I'd talk to you um, Harry's having another bottle I don't know what the time is it's probably nine something um, he's still having his bottles every like three hours um, but when it comes to night time he does sleep through um, pretty much majority of the time um, but he is a hungry baby like Ellie was the exact same it's like having Ellie reborn again it's so weird yeah, he's having a bottle every three hours. He's having five ounces. I might actually up it to six soon. Um, but yeah, he absolutely loves his milk. And I know that when it does come to weaning, he's gonna absolutely love that, like his sister did. Um, so yeah, I should really do an update on him, really, because I've done it with Ellie. And um, like, it's just so hard with two children. Like, I literally don't have time to do anything like even getting ready is just impossible oh oh a bell oh look at this sweet hat yeah that is nice sweet hat oh look at this little treat 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 and golden star they're called pipe cleaners pipe Harry's all changed because he just threw up everywhere, aren't you? You'll now put a bib. How cute is this little baby grow? It's got like a little dinosaur on it. So cute. Um, okay, Ellie wants to play Play-Doh now. So I said we have to put everything back, didn't we? And then we can get the Play-Doh out. Harry's gone back to sleep after that bottle and um, he is quite grumpy today, I'm not sure why but Ellie's covered in play-doh and everything and she desperately needs a wash I usually give them a bath in the evening um, but I'm going to give her a bath now while Harry's asleep um, and then I'm going to sort the bathroom out while she's in the bath so I'm killing two things at the same time She's got really sore lips as well because I said to her like why are you so grumpy today and she said her lips were hurting so yeah I'm hoping the bath will help and I'm going to put some lip stuff on that after. Um, I'm still feeling quite rough, I'm definitely coming down with something, like my head's killing me now. This 
your eyelashes? <laughs> so large. Ellie just had a bath. I've got a dress and I'm gonna attempt to brush this knotty hair. Wish me luck. Ready? Yeah, okay. Okay. This dress is too long. Oh, you've got all that hairs in there. Oh. You're calling, I'm falling Don't know what it is you do to me, yeah Where you go, I follow Let's This little top is from Matalan Well it's actually a jumper isn't it Ellie? And I then can, I want you to, I want to show you something I can say radiator You can say radiator, that's and, right uh, what did you say with this top? Jumper. No, that what you buy from the shop. What do you Matalan. mean? Matalan. Huh? Matalan. Matalan. <laughs> oh, Matalan, yeah. And then she's got some mint green leggings on, which also have unicorns at the bottom, but we've tucked some socks into it because Ooh, we want to keep you warm, don't we? I want Show Harry's yep, Harry's got a little sleep seat from Nex. Ellie's bedroom's a bit messy, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> this is Harry's little outfit. This baby groat is from Nex. And it's got a little dinosaur you can feel. Yep. Smell it. Smell it? <laughs> <laughs> I can smell it. He's done a poo. He hasn't done a poo, but he does need a nappy change in a minute. I managed to put a little bit of makeup on um, while Ellie was in the bath, but I still haven't done my hair, which is fine. Um, so yeah, I feel a little bit better now. I've your, got some makeup on. Crazy. It is crazy, isn't it? I don't know what to do with it, Ellie. Um, I really need to get on with some work. So while Harry is content and Ellie's playing, I'm going to check my emails and I've got to edit one video. Five, six, seven, eight. Dance the night away. I am ready for that heartbreak. That's usually how it goes. I have done Maybe I am going crazy. Okay, so I wanted to quickly touch up on something and I probably will make a separate video all about it because um, it's kind of like made a big impact in our lives. But Ellie is now four years old. So yeah, I thought it was maybe because of Harry. Obviously, she had all the attention. She was the only child. Um, but at first, she was absolutely amazing. Like... And she still is with Harry, she's absolutely brilliant with him and she absolutely adores him. But her behaviour has just rapidly changed. Um, she's gone from being like really polite and sensible to just the complete opposite. And I don't know if it's a, like a phase she's going through or a stage she's going through. Or like if something has changed her. Um, like I said, I don't know if it could be because she's not the only child and she's not getting all the attention. But I can guarantee you, she gets so much attention, probably even more now that Harry's born. Um, because when I was pregnant, that was the number one thing for me, was to make sure that Ellie was not left out and um, that she was still made special. And every day we do something together, um, sometimes like a few things together, but obviously I can't do that continuously because I have other things to do like making dinner and um, attending to Harry and stuff. I don't think it is jealousy because she she tells me everything. She tells me, you know, how she's feeling and stuff like that and she, I think she would have told me by now it's because, you know, um, what four year olds say, no one loves me, no one plays with me, that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, I have noticed a massive difference in her behaviour. She's getting quite cheeky and naughty, answering me back, and I never had that before, so I just think that it's just all come suddenly and it's just a massive shock to me. And I do generally feel quite upset about it because I feel like, um, I don't know, something's affecting her or something. Um, but she has her days, like she's still such a good girl and she helps me around the house and she helps me with Harry and she absolutely adores him like I said 
and um, she has you know she holds him every single morning and she feeds him for me and stuff like that so i don't think it is to do with jealousy um, but I'm just hoping it could be like a stage she's going through. And I know it's not just me. I've seen it on other people's Instagrams at the moment about their four-year-olds and going through a massive change. So, yeah, it's literally like having a teenager. Um, she used to always say her please and thank yous. And now I have to... The cat's jumping up at the door. I have to always remind her to say please and thank yous, which is like teaching a two-year-old at the moment. Um, and like she would get herself dressed and now she has days where she just refuses to do that and yeah it's just completely draining me at the moment she's sitting here but we've had a little talk every single day we have a little talk and I tell her like how you feeling when she comes home from school she is so grumpy and she never used to be um, and the thing with Ellie she gets very tired I've seen other four-year-olds that have so much more energy than Ellie and they could go they could go like the whole day without having a nap whereas Ellie needs to have a nap she gets so tired if we're out and about you can see how tired she is um one minute I'm gonna let Tilly in Put your hand up, darling. Good girl. Um, yeah, so she gets very tired. I don't know if it's to do with that, but she gets a good, like, you know, 10 hours sleep, maybe more sometimes. She also, like I said, she has a nap during the day as well. Um, but, yeah, so basically I've noticed, um, like, her behaviours change. She's very moody, grumpy, and she's very sensitive as well. Like, she will cry over everything. Um which again is a big shock to me because she would, she'd cry if she would hurt herself and things like that but she literally cries over everything and um it's just absolutely draining basically i wanted to talk about that subject because it has been affecting our lives and it's something we're getting used to and i'm finding it a lot harder with both of them now whereas before i didn't um but i am finding it quite hard now uh, just it's just like physically emotionally draining I'll show you around channel mum's website and there's a reason why i am talking about this subject because i will it'll all make sense in a minute um because there is a question i'm going to ask on their website please let me know if you have a four-year-old or maybe a similar age and maybe let me know that i'm not alone because i feel so alone right now and i feel like the mum guilt is just terrible. I feel like what you know what what's happened to her. So this is the channel mum website. It's literally channelmum.com and I love how laid out it is. It's so clear and easy to follow. And you've got all things on here such as money saving, world book day costumes, birth stories, and then you've got these categories. So trying for a baby, pregnancy, baby, toddlers, child support, eat, health chat winter lifestyle work and yeah everything to do with parenting babies toddlers channel mum has it covered so you've got topics here and as you can see there's so many topics that you can choose from to get advice and information from but i'm going to go to the chat and support here click that and then this is the chat and support page. I have a hashtag called Yana, which stands for you are not alone. So mum's mental health is if you think you're maybe suffering from postnatal depression to anxiety, you can take some kind of like quizzes to see if you have any of them. Basically mum SOS means you can answer a question on there and people will answer your question back. You have pregnancy, labor and birth, the baby clinic, Budget, money, saving and debt, friendship bench, miscarriage and baby loss, trying to conceive support, seasonal chat, media requests and community guidelines and FAQs. Channel Mum also have a health visitor Maggie who is brilliant and obviously knows all her stuff about babies. And so the one I'm going to pick is Mum SOS. And then as you can see, people have asked questions such as baby names, how to wean two year old off a bottle. 
so if you have any sort of question you can pop the topic into this mum sos and as you can see people answer your questions so there's five answers to this one here and yeah it's just a great way to communicate with others as well but also get the information you need so i'm going to press new topic because i'm going to ask a question and then i believe i have to register because i haven't actually done that yet so i'm going to click register and it literally takes half a minute to do so i'm going to quickly fill out my details and press sign up So here is the question I'm going to ask. I've put, hi everyone, this is my first post. I have a four year old and have noticed a massive change in her lately. She's very moody and is getting a little bit too cheeky, which is not like her at all. Is it a stage phase she is going through? We also have a three month old baby, so I thought she could be a little jealous with the new change to our family, etc. But she said she loves her baby brother. She's just always tired, etc. I also make sure we have mummy and daughter time. So that's as that's so important to me that she doesn't feel left out. She is also highly sensitive at the moment and seems to cry a lot too. Please tell me you mummies have a four-year-old going through the same thing and that it passes. Thank you. So I'm going to hit submit topic just here. And then I'm going to see... Okay, there's my post there. So if I go to chat and support... And then go back on the topic page. Hopefully mine will be on there. There we go. There's me there. So that's my question. Um, so what I'm going to do. I'm going to tune in later to see the replies. And then film that. Um, but I'm hoping I get some replies and some advice. Because I desperately need it. <laughs> Ellie's playing snakes and ladders. She got this for um, her birthday. It's really cool. What number did you get? Five. Five. Maybe I need to do four. So you need to press this red button. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool, isn't it? What, what number? That is number four. You should know that. Good girl. So what do you do? Do you move your thing four times? snakes and ladders um harry's woken up he does not sleep much in the day i don't know what it is i think he's such a light sleeper but obviously i can't really tell ellie to stop playing because it's not fair um so yeah i am seriously lagging at the moment so i'm gonna have a coffee i'm so tired so i'm definitely coming down with something i don't feel too good so um yeah i'm gonna have a coffee So this is my little setup. I've got Harry in the rocker, coffee and a croissant and I'm going to answer my emails. Listen, no fear, no doubt. I know a place that sneak away. Leave the pain, I'll stay with you.
my work. Um, uncle Jack, which is my brother, Ellie's uncle, um, he works here. It's really hard to explain, but my dad has like a yard like that's with his house. So um, they've got an office down the back and everything. So uh, both my brothers work with my dad. So I get to see them every day. Um, it's proper snowing now, wow. What's wrong? I know, it's beautiful. Um, so yeah, Uncle Jack just said, Ellie, do you want to come home with um, me? Which is Nan's house. So yeah, she's going to go to Nanny's tonight and then come home in the morning. It's really snowy now. It actually melted. Even though I said we're snowed in, it actually melted because the sun was out. Um, and it started to come down a little bit now so um my brother wants to kind of drive home before it gets worse so yeah i'm just gonna pack her a little bag with like her pajamas and stuff in um and then i'm gonna change this monkey yeah Because yeah. you you look so sore in her. Yeah. Have a good time at Nanny. gone to nanny's now she was so excited to go i think she was getting a little bit bored because we were stuck in today everything's like going wrong today just having one of those days i've got a banging headache so i'm going to take a um anodine in a minute harry's on the changing mat having a little stretch and i am putting a second wash on don't worry the washing machine is literally here and he's there um i'm gonna put another wash on and that will probably be it today with the washing. I have got like a mountain of washing to do though for some reason. Um, and yeah, I've got, I've got to take a tablet because my head is banging. Um, also, my dad rang and said, should we get a takeaway tonight? So that's made me in a better mood. Um, I know I shouldn't be having a takeaway on, because it's not even the weekend, but you know what? I usually cook when like Ellie's at home. I do like a family dinner. Um, like shepherd's pie or something like that but because Ellie's not here and Paul gets in at like half seven quarter to eight some nights I just yeah I think it's just easy to get a takeaway so So it's been a couple of hours now, um, two hours I believe, and I've just checked into the Mum SOS page, and as you can see, I have three replies to my topic. So I'm going to click it. There's my question. So we've got some advice here. You're not alone, lovely. just reading the lovely comments from people yeah I think definitely an earlier bedtime because she does get very tired bless her thanks Kathy oh that's a good idea just me and Ellie going out obviously I have Harry and Ellie 24 7 so if we ever go out Harry comes with us so nice if daddy or nanny could have Harry for a couple hours while me and Ellie do something special together so yeah, that's such a good idea. Thank you, my love. Thanks, Lisa, for your lovely comments. So it makes me feel so much better that I am, you know, not alone and there's other people that have gone through it or going through it. And this page is just so helpful and I will probably check in 
tomorrow as well to see if there's any more replies but if you've got any sort of question or you just want to talk to someone then definitely check out the channel mum mum sos okay so i just gave harry another bottle and i've took my headache tablet i feel really really poorly so i'm probably gonna end this day in the life here it's getting quite late now and um, i'm gonna edit this day in the life um have a bath and just chill a little bit um i'm actually really happy that ellie's gone to my nan so i can rest a little bit and i know that she's gonna get lots of attention there i'm missing her like crazy already um so yeah i'm just gonna chill um have dinner bath him and that's pretty much our evening like i said i will be doing an evening routine if you'd like to see that so i'm not going to include it in this day in the life but um yeah give me a thumbs up if you do like these day in the lives so it lets me know to make more i love filming them as well and um i hope to film some more for you guys as well thanks all so much for watching and i'll speak to you all soon bye